Welcome to the student video about creating a unique student identifier, or USI. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own USI starting from the USI website at usi.gov.au. Creating a USI should take less than five minutes. Remember, you only need one USI and it's yours for life. You never need another one, just like a Medicare card or tax file number. From the USI homepage, select the Create My USI option. Here you can find further support materials including steps to create your USI. And you can use the USI creation checklist to ensure you're ready. To make the process quick and easy, it's a good idea to have all of the information you need close at hand. This includes having a form of ID, such as your driver's license. Let's get started by clicking on the Create Your USI Now button. You'll now see a Terms and Conditions page. Read the Terms and Conditions, and if you agree, tick the box. Now select the Create USI button. Are you applying on behalf of another person? Today, I'm going to select No, as I'll be creating my own USI. Then click Next. Firstly, you need to choose the form of ID you'll be using to create your USI. There are eight forms of ID you can choose from. You can see the full list of IDs by clicking on the drop-down arrow for document type or by referring to the help text on the right-hand side of the screen. For today, I'll choose to use my ACT driver's licence, then enter in the document details. Now you need to enter in your personal details, starting with your first name, your middle name if you have one, and your family name. It's important to make sure your personal details match the details on the form of ID. If you don't enter them exactly, you won't be able to create a USI. If you have a preferred name, for example, you prefer to be known as Bob instead of Robert, you can select Yes here and enter your preferred name in the preferred name field. Entering a preferred name might help you to access your USI account more easily later on if you forget your USI but it won't appear on your USI transcript because we use your legal name, so the name that appears on your form of ID. Next, enter and confirm your date of birth. Select your gender, then select your country of birth from the drop-down list and enter in the town or city you were born. Then click Next. You are now at the contact details screen. You must select at least one of the following three contact details. An email address, this is the best form of contact to use, as you can use your email address to log into your USI account later. It's also a fast and easy way for us to get in contact with you in the future. Just make sure that the email address is unique to you and hasn't been used by anyone else to create a USI. You can also choose a mobile phone number or a postal address. But try to enter as many of the contact details as you can to make it as easy as possible to find your USI in the future and for us to keep in touch with you. Then click Next. The USI registry system is now ready to check and confirm your identity. It cross-checks the personal details you entered against your form of ID. So check over your details again to make sure everything is entered correctly. If you notice a mistake, don't worry. Just select Back to Edit and go back and fix it. Once you've checked and you're happy with what you've entered, select Confirm Identity. Once the system has successfully verified your identity, you need to secure your account by choosing a password, followed by setting your own security check questions. When creating a password for your USI account, make sure it follows the password guidance, which is noted in the help text on the right-hand side of the screen. Enter and confirm your password. Next, set your security check questions. Make sure when setting your questions and answers, they are something you can easily remember. These questions will be asked of you if you forget your password or your USI or when you contact the USI office. Select Next to continue. And you're done. Your USI will now be displayed on the screen and will be sent to you for your records. Keep it safe and handy as this USI is yours for life. If you're enrolling in training, your training organisation will need to collect and verify your USI. To help your training organisation do this, Ask your training organisation if they want you to print or email your USI details from this screen. Or you can log back into your account at any time to print or email your USI. You can also set up access for training organisations to view 
and or update your USI account. Once you've completed some training, you might also want to set up access for training organisations to view your USI transcript. Remember, you can remove these permissions at any time. This ends the video on how to create my USI. For up-to-date information on the USI, please visit the USI website at usi.gov.au. Don't forget, once you have a USI, it's yours for life. Thank you for joining me.